Hi there, we are Lisa and Chris. Please join us aboard our main ship 390, Cool Beans, as we cruise America's Great Loop. Hello, we are so excited to give you a tour of our floating home, but first, I wanted to give you a few bits of information about Cool Beans. She is a 2002 main ship 390 trawler with a single Yanmar 440 engine. She has bow and stern thrusters to get us into and out of tight quarters if needed, and she has a Kohler gin set. Fun fact, it's called a gin set because it's a generator set, a combination of an engine and a generator, as the engine drives the generator which provides power to run other equipment. A little bit about trawlers if you're not familiar with them. A trawler is a style of boat that is built for going slow, exactly what we needed for fuel efficiency for the loop. The main ship differs from a true trawler, however, as the 390 is built on a faster, modified V-hull with flat after sections and a shallow, full-length keel. Cool Beans can run as fast as 14 knots, however, we prefer the more economical 7 to 8 knot speed. And just for fun, here are the specifications on our 390 main ship. Welcome back aboard Cool Beans. This week we're going to do a uh, tour of the inside and the outside of um, our 39 foot main ship. The uh, cables you see off the front, the yellow are the power cables. We're currently hooked to shore power at the marina. I'm not sure if you can see the water running out of the bow. That's um, the cooling system for our air conditioners. Not sure why we have so many fenders on board right now, but we just came through the locks and um, when you're going through the locks, definitely more is better. The front, we keep the uh, front windshields covered at all times. We've um, not used the lower helm. We haven't needed to. We both really enjoy being at the upper helm when we're traveling. Water hose running over the side. We're hooked to shore, uh, shore water. And there on the dock is uh, our bonus tip for the week. That's Lisa's folding wagon. It's come in very handy. Today was laundry day, so it was put to the test. It's also great when we have grocery deliveries, just anything like that. It's, uh, it's been a great purchase for us. Now we'll step aboard and we'll take a look at the cockpit, go around to the bow, and then we'll go to the flybridge. The rear of our boat has a cockpit. There's our small outboard motor for our dinghy. We found that it's uh, better mounted there than hanging from the dinghy mount up on top. We have a couple of ice chests. The uh, big one, we mostly just put water bottles in it and it's more for storage. The, st the top one, we uh, keep our drinks cold. We have an ice machine, load it down. Uh, just behind the uh, outboard there is an extra set of power cables or we can also use them for extensions. On this side we have a small pro propane grill. There's my bottle and I also use the little basket there to wrap my hose around. Starboard side, complete walk around. Has a small step there in the middle but easy access to the bow. Handrails definitely tall enough to feel safe. Here hanging on the wall, extra boat hooks, brooms, mops, brushes, all for cleaning the boat. Here on port side, as you can see, straight shot right to the bow, easy access. All right, we'll go up the uh, port side here, head to the bow. Our anchor, windless. Windless is the uh, winch that raises and lowers the uh, 
the anchor and all the chain that goes with it. A couple extra dock lines here. Close up of the uh, outside of the lower helm. I'll step back. Here's where our, our power cables attached to the boat. We also have an attachment in the in the rear of the boat. We've just always used the front. We, it's just been easier for us. Depends if we're stern in, we still use the um, the ones on the bow. Underneath these extra dock lines, it's chain storage, all the chain for the anchor, and also more dock lines in there. A few stairs up to the uh, flybridge. We, uh, when we were shopping, stairs were high on our list as opposed to a, a ladder. A lot easier access. A couple of chairs in the back, great for watching sunsets. Our dinghy underneath the black cover there is our Honda generator that's come in so handy. That turned out to be a great purchase. A couple of couches on each side. Have the upper helm covered at this time just because we're at dock. There's Lisa's extra cushion. Helps her see out over through the uh, Eisen class when we're traveling. A couple of pillows in this case here. Binoculars, towels, charging cords, just anything we might need underway. Easy access to keep it up here at the flybridge. Quick view of the stern of Cool Beans. We have a uh, swim platform, a hatch for easy access to in and out of the dinghy. And as we look up, of course, the American flag. All right, well, I'm gonna take you inside the boat. So stepping into our sliding glass door right here, this is the salon slash galley. And this is our um, TV area storage. Go back a little. So this is our Berkey. This is our water filter, ice maker, best thing ever. Here is a place where we keep all of our books, manuals, Coast Guard approvals, and all of that. Here is food storage. And just lots of storage uh, underneath here. Um, this is our microwave and more food storage up here. And this is our new refrigerator. We had to get that before we left. It's wonderful. It's got a pull out freezer. So it's really nice. Um, you can see what you have in there. All right, this is the galley. So this is where I cook. And we have more storage up there. We have the oven slash stove top. We have our little, um, this is our little um, toaster oven. I love it. Coffee maker, must have. Um, we do a lot of charging right here. Um, this is our set of marriage savers is what they call them. They're headsets. And then this is my GoPro. So I keep them right over here because I use um, these plugs. Uh, up under here is where our dishes are. It's really nice. It keeps them from rattling around. And here's our sink. More storage. Um, and this is to port. Um, I'm going to say real quick, you can see that I've got all of our windows covered um, with silver, um, like foil, reflective foil. Um, it's kind of like what you use in your car for your windshield. Um, it just keeps it cooler in here. All right. So now on the starboard side, we've got our panel with all of our breakers and switches and stuff, our battery charger here. This is my side. This is my little office. I've got files back there, books, computer. That's where all the magic happens, haha. Uh, we have a little table. We use that to play cards, to eat and whatnot. And then this is Chris's chair. Um, we have drapes. I've got some of that reflective stuff on this window. This is where we hang our um, PFDs. We use them every time we are on the bow of the boat or sides of the boat. This is the lower helm 
Um, we haven't used it yet, but we might, you never know. Um, so it's fully outfitted. It's got the thrusters, all the gauges, Garmin, um, depth finder, and controls. So this is what that looks like. Um, we've got a hatch under this rug here for storage. And then the hatch is down here. We've showed you before. This is the engine compartment. Um, so I'm not gonna open that up right now. And now we'll head down stairs. I will say these um, flashlights, spotlights are amazing. So let me pan out. So I got this for Chris when we decided to do the loop. I got him this for Christmas. It's a Stanley Fat Max. It's um, floating, waterproof and floating. We use this every single day. And then our daughter got him this for Christmas. It's a spotlight and it's super, super bright. I won't turn it on, but you know, if we're out at night and it's an emergency or just like last night, we smelt something outside. We thought we needed to go check the engine compartments. Um, well, the ones outside the generator compartment, I should say. And it was nothing. It was something else outside. It wasn't us, but we use this. So I don't know, kind of my tip of the week, right? Um, and then back here is our flare gun, just in case we need it. All right, here we go. There's one, two, three, three stairs, or maybe four, depending on how you count. <laughs> uh, okay, well, first we'll go to our, this is our guest bedroom, I would say, but obviously we're using it for storage. Um, I don't know if you can see under there, but that's... Um, like a twin bunk, and then that's the that's the um, cushion for this side. Um, I use, oops, I use this as my closet, um, and then we have this um, racks for hanging or drying. That's on the port side. On the starboard side is the head. So you can see it's not huge, but it's very very doable. Um, we've got a shower compartment um, its own with a sit down area if you need to sit and this little sliding storage here for things um, oh, excuse this this is just my makeup and hair bag and then we have the little um, covers on the portholes here but these open so you would just pull these down if you need to get some vent some ventilation but because it's super sunny here and hot I keep that in there in place. All right, and for the final destination, it's our berth. This is in the bow of the boat, so it's kind of like a V berth, I guess you would say. Um, it's not really a queen. Maybe it's a little bit bigger than a double, smaller than a queen. It's fine. We, work, we do just fine in it. Um, over here, I've got more storage in here. I've got storage in here. This is my side, you pan over, we've got, it's Chris's side and you've got, we've got a TV. So Chris watches his YouTube videos and whatnot at night. And I think that's about it. That is the tour of Cool Beans. Did I miss anything? Is there anything else you'd like to see? Let me know in the comments. <music>